All right, we've shown you a lot of high leverage games tonight, but we still have some more, including out in Marlin, where Coach David Haynes took over an 0 10 team two years ago, led them to two wins last year, and tonight had them playing for a district championship. <laughs> win, the Bulldogs are district champs, but sending in their way 8 1 Italy. The Gladiators first drive. As that one is Jaden Barr takes that one all the way to the house, 50 yards for the score, six nothing Gladiators. Next possession on the Bulldog 40, Barr again this time right up the gut takes it to the house, his second score of the game, 13 nothing Italy in this one. Final seconds of the first quarter, Marlins Trey Butler here, big week last week, trying to keep get something going there, gets pushed out of bounds at the 11 yard line, but not after some nifty moves right there. Here's the defensive highlight for you. Fourth and goal at the eight. And Donovan Ray, Ben Blake's taken down in the backfield by a host of Gladiator defenders. Next drive for Italy here. That's Jaden Barr breaking tackles, beast mode style, taking it in for the score. 20 to nothing, Gladiators, as they go on to win this district championship with a big win tonight. But Marlin still playoff bound. All right, it's now time to bring in Gary Ainsworth. Gary, you were out there at Legion Field tonight. So what, what kind of stood out to you between these two teams? You know, it, it wasn't hard to see that these were two very different teams. With Italy jumping out on their first offensive play with a big O line and the big boys in the backfield, you know, the Jadens are both pretty good sized kids. Yeah, yeah, and it's were. not very often you see two guys in the backfield named the same thing. Yeah. But, you know, I couldn't decide whether Barr was going to go in, was going more beast mode or if it was more of the bus. Yeah. I know you're familiar with the yeah. bus. Steelers um, got but he, awesome. he showed a lot of really great patience in the holes. I mean, really hit the holes well. Uh, a lot of balance. I and mean, anybody tried to arm tackle him, they had no chance to bring him down. You know, and I will say the Bulldogs have really got some grit. You know, they showed a lot of flashes, had a little bit of success on that one drive. But the Italy defensive front, they stuffed anything in between the tackles. And they, they adjusted their linebackers on that drive and that fourth down play. And you know, Marlon just didn't have anything to do with it. And, you know, there's so many times that you don't see things, but on, on that one, you just, just the quarterback <laughs> playing long snapper. It's just wow. something you don't see very yeah, often. That, that's definitely a, a new one. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, you know, we talked about it two years ago. Coach Haynes took over an 0 and 10 team. Now they're going to the playoffs. I mean, what did you see from a Marlin team that's come a long way in a short amount of time? I don't think this game is really a good indication of what really they have. Yeah. Uh, you know, they've got some, they really do have some talent. They've got a good bit of speed, some really good quick backs and, and wide receivers. You know, they've got a punter. You know, he's six yeah. foot three, 225 pounds. He's only a sophomore. Yeah. And he's, you know, I saw on the roster, he's also listed as a backup quarterback. So, you know, he'll beef up, he'll get a little bigger. And, you know, I, I really think they've got things going in the right direction. And I'd really be surprised. If they go backwards instead of forwards, you know, I mean, they've really got a lot to build on, and a couple tweaks to the offense a little bit to move the ball vertically instead of horizontally, and yeah. I really think they've got a better chance. Yeah, awesome. Well, you know, lost their quarterback early in the year, overcoming adversity. Right. Now they get to go to the playoffs. So, Gary, thanks so much for stopping by. Appreciate you as always. All right, Pretty